guys welcome this is a general reading for the collective of aquarius sun moon rising venus welcome cross watchers if you're brand new to the channel i'm happy to have you join us this is leo channel mascot yes <laughs> he seems to get he's been lately he's been joining me just before i start recording like he knows when i'm settling in because he likes to pick the oracle card so leo are you going to help pick the card i'm pulling from healing Mo no okay yeah not today mom not feeling it <laughs> okay well you do you we're we're okay he's not feeling it it's friday the 13th he's He's playing by his own rules today. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Come in the comments, say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I always come back later on in the evening and I review all the comments and I do give you a formal proper welcome. So I'll get to that later. Anyway, let me pull you a card to activate the reading. Clear waters. Well, I, I gave you the chance. I gave you the chance and you blew it. You had other things to tend to. Clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, right timing and opportunity. I kind of think this is my favorite card so far. Isn't that gorgeous? Doesn't that feel just settle with your heart? Clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, right timing and opportunity. And this, I'm pulling from this deck for a reason. We kicked off the month. Um, by the way, I did the September 2023 um, Love Tarot uh, energy update, monthly energy update, which I do at the beginning of every month. I do that monthly reading and it takes the month week by week. So if you haven't seen it yet, it's only the 13th. Go ahead and watch it. Um, and we started the month with the new moon in Virgo. Um, on the second, third, depending on where you live. And the new moon in Virgo has a healing component to it since the co-ruler of Virgo is Chiron. We have Mercury and Chiron, which is uh, the wounded healer. And um, even though the new moon had no eclipse energy to it, it kind of does because its component, like the closing out or the full moon that it is accompanied by, um, which is coming up on the 17th is the full moon in Pisces, which is very watery. So healing waters is the Oracle deck. Um, and it is a lunar eclipse and the lunar eclipse is associated with the South node because that's what creates the, the uh, lunar eclipse is the South node. So it's all about dredging up the past. The South node is the past healing waters is about releasing healing releasing the past boy that sure took me a hot minute to get through but you 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 know where i'm going you have the vision it says here on the card okay so i love that clear waters for you aquarius or whoever you are watching you may claim the energy of that card wow okay so i'm doing um the soul contract tarot spread today and i've been doing it for this whole series of readings sort of to get the nature of your karmic soul contract with your person the main lesson and i'll lay out the cards and i'll tell you what the position of each card is about and then we'll get the details from the clarifiers and we'll do the same thing in the extended here we go nature of your soul contract temperance Temperance has a theme of patience, of going with the flow to some degree. Your main lesson, yeah, feeling safe and protected in your vulnerability. The sun is also about happiness, kind of going with the flow to feel that sense of happiness and joy. And sometimes it takes time. So let's see what you're already aware of. Knight of Wands, there may be some energy building right something coming on like an inner like an indiana jones boulder that knight of wands feels like a you know this sense of somebody may be returning some passion coming toward you possibly you sort of feeling a sense of the impulse to take some action shadow work yes shadow work that needs to be 
um, work through the Four of Cups. Mm. Disappointment, disillusionment, feelings of rejection, emotional distance, a disconnect of some sort, unhappiness in general. Perhaps a missed opportunity even. If we're thinking of these two cards, what you're aware of and what you still need to sort of resolve in terms of shadow, this would be seizing the moment versus a missed opportunity. So that may speak to some of you. Past healing that you've already accomplished, sure, Queen of Cups. So this, I want, you know, the past healing already accomplished may not be within this soul contract. It just may be evidence, receipts, so to speak, that you've tackled something before um, that threatened, right? Threatened you, emotionally speaking, and you kind of came through it. You healed it. And so it's evidence that you can do it again. Um, Queen of Cups, she's vulnerable. She's the empath of the tarot, sensitive, compassionate, open-hearted. Um, even in her reversed energy, in her reversed energy, the worst thing you can say about her is that she might be a little emotionally needy. She can at times be a bit of a doormat. Um, but what I'm seeing here is you have evidence that you left your heart exposed and you kind of live to tell the tale. Um, now, the final step on the healing journey with, within this soul contract that will signal that you're either ready to cut cords and call it a day, or that you're closing up a, you know, a part of this soul contract that will allow you to kind of step up to the next phase of this soul contract. Yes, Knight of Pentacles. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling like an old, you know, those old timey Western movies, the American Westerns, where you hear the um, very familiar hokey kind of where the, the cowboy on the horse and he's plunking along, you know, hokey dokey music. That's what I'm feeling, like where things kind of are just kind of moving along, slow and steady, riding off into the sunset. Yep, I did that. And it's like you know where you're headed because you're beginning with the end in mind. No surprises, no hairpin turns everything's just kind of coasting. So that's sort of uh, final step in your healing process is you have a plan. Yeah, it's intentional. Um, good, all right, so we have the overall, and the overall storyline. Let's see what the clarifiers have to say. Temperance in the sun. Magician. Nine of Cups, the Moon. So for those of you who are new, when I pull from the bottom of the deck, which you'll see me do throughout, I'm tapping into unconscious awareness, right? Something in your psyche um, or something playing out behind the scenes. Either way, it's something you can't really see. You're not really consciously aware of. And in this case, it's your fears. It's the insecurities. It's the apprehensions, the things that trigger you. Um, that make you sort of second guess yourself at times, question your own sense of mastery, and maybe here with the Nine of Cups, um, right? Am I going to get my wish fulfilled? You know, where's, where's my sense of comfort in the situation? Where's my sense of, yeah, this feels good? Because if this is your main lesson, if the sun is your main lesson, it can be hard to go with the flow and sort of wait to see how everything kind of falls out. This is a card of self-control and restraint. And so if we're working on some form of manifestation and the nine of cups also feels very much like temperance in that it's like, well, sometimes we just got to be good with where we are in the moment. Well, the moon isn't going to allow for that, right? The moon needs to see some proof that you're not going to end up hurt. So I am seeing the moon as the rate limiting step here. Um, and that's why the uh, final step on the healing journey is that this, this reminds me, and I've said it, I think once or twice already in this series of the, the art of Zen, um, Zen and the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. If you haven't read the book, um, I can give you the synopsis, which is that 
it's not the destination it's the journey right so this card to me represents the journey you begin with the end in mind you know you want to reach the, the summit of the mountain but it isn't the summit that it's about it's about the journey in getting there so it's the plan <laughs> okay it's the plan Stan and the moon doesn't allow you to take in all the gorgeousness all the beauty along the way um, the imperfections right and knowing that you have all the tools at your disposal to kind of navigate those imperfections no the moon won't allow you to do that so that is part of this soul contract is how you weather that so that you don't fall in the traps of disillusionment mm -hmm. okay knight of wands what you are are already aware of Oof. potentially a reconciliation getting some information coming in that might clear something up and lead to a new beginning i think you feel like it's coming at you pretty fast so this may be something that's more intuitive you sense it or you may actually have already had some communication um if not that's okay but I, I get a lot of people in the comments like i feel it coming i feel it coming very common with regard to new uh, full moons and very common in eclipse season we get a sense of being pushed through that wormhole right time speeds up in eclipse season and with that eclipse um uh, the pisces full moon eclipse it's it's a it's a south node eclipse which means we have to kind of strip out the past that's in our way so you're kind of doing two things at once here you're sort of that's why i'm using this particular spread you're sort of aware of what needs to be cleaned up on aisle five and you're also feeling the jet propulsion of moving forward to the new beginning so we have reconciliation we have clearing the air we have to manage and negotiate our own fears and insecurities we have to kind of forge the path forward with a plan but also be aware that it's more about the <laughs> it's more about the journey oh aquarius Y'all are always so deep. I love it. <sighs> Shadow work still needed though. Four of Cups. Yeah. Right? Death card lands on the Four of Cups. And you remember when I said if we stay in this energy of disappointment and disillusionment, we could miss an opportunity. Sure as shit, we can miss an opportunity. Spirit's trying to hand you. There it is. Look at the card. That is the hand of spirit. Handing you that ace. And you're looking right past it. But I'm not getting my needs met. I'm not getting what I need. I'm not getting what I want. I'm so disillusioned. I'm so disappointed. I'm so unhappy. And it's just, there's the missed opportunity. And it's like, you're not, you're not even seeing it yet. It's there. It's available for you to go, ugh. Oh, how could I have missed that? So there's a little bit of shadow work still needing to be done, and here it is. You are getting the Cliff Notes version right here, right now. You're welcome. So it's the 13th. We got four days. If you're catching this when I'm putting it up on the channel, you got four days. So yeah, Cliff Notes version. Do that say yeah okay i i am feeling something coming toward me i am feeling time speeding up i do feel there needs to be a, a clearing of the air whether the person speaks to you or not you can you can do a lot of this energetically yourself because it's about your release during this full moon it's about what you're letting go of 
It's about you clearing the path so that a reconciliation can take place when the time is right. There are two people here, right? Both parties have free will. Okay, so now let's go into the past healing that has already been accomplished, Queen of Cups. So that you have the evidence. Yes. Wow. Whoa. Open heart. Got it. Mm. Somebody pulled a fast one. Where were you? You you were thinking, yep, we're mutually invested in the beginnings of life partnership. For some of you, maybe even planning a, a wedding, a future, right? thinking we're we're on the same page we're mutually invested we got this going on and no 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 that was kind of ripped out right from under you but this is evidence because this this card placement is about past healing that you've already accomplished you already licked the proverbial wounds and made it through and lived to tell the tale does that mean you don't harbor some resentments? No, you're allowed, you know. I mean, cause that's normal. But you bounced back. You found your way back to you. And so now what happens is in the final step on the healing journey for this part, whether, and this could be in this connection, but for others of you, it may not be. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. It's not a private reading. So you do have to take some of what I'm saying here, apply it to what resonates for you. And then some of you may need to shift the interpretation a bit. That's how these things work. Um, but what's gonna signal that you're ready to either cut the cord here and say, yeah, I'm out, which would, I don't think it makes sense to me, but it could for you. Um, or that you're like ready to close out some healing here so you can up level in this soul contract and work on something new in this contract. Well, it is about the journey, but it's also about something very tangible, very methodical, more deliberate, right? I'm moving forward with a plan, okay? It moves slower than this Knight of Wands. It's more intentional. It's less focused on the timing of how things up, move. And, and so it lowers your expectation, which means there's no fear. There's no apprehension. There's no insecurity. There's no triggers because there's no time attached to it. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot more um, awareness of, well, I got to get clear. Two of Swords for you is more about, I have decisions to make. What do I want the end to look like? Like, if I'm beginning with the end in mind, it's not about the timing. It's what does it look like, tangibly speaking. It's Pentacles. Right, so, so that it doesn't hurt, so that it's pain-free. Because um, this is healing, we're doing healing here. So it's like, it's less about this person, it's more about you. The Two of Swords is an inner search for clarity about the meaning and purpose of the decision, about where you're headed, right? And how best to proceed so that you avoid these complicated issues of heartache and disappointment. And I love the page of wands underneath, and I am gonna read this to you. You know, the best tower readers will. Laser focus on soul's delight, passion unfolding, excitement. Attention toward those things that thrill you on every level. The traveling soul who craves the stimulation of new places, ideas, and vistas. Right? So it's like underlying this journey is the excitement. 
not the destination, not the time, but the, that's how you'll know that the healing is complete when you're excited again about the journey. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you for now. Mm, okay. Now, of course, you know, I'm going to take it to the extended. Um, I'm not getting a strong hit on who we're talking about, but I'm definitely going to take it to the extended and look at things from like how it's, it's all kind of being sized up in their head. Uh, so what's their perception of you, whoever this person is that you're watching. Now, if you're a cross watcher, this may still be all about you and not about them, quite frankly. Um, it usually works that way. Um, their feelings for you, their intentions toward you. What do they get from you? That's been an interesting card. What do they get from you? Uh, their physical fulfillment level. And if you're at a distance from each other, it's more about the chemistry. Okay. And then where is this connection headed from their point of view? So that's what we're going to do in the extended. The links to that are below. I say links plural because you have option one, two, or three. So when you click the link, make sure you look at what it is before you purchase because there are different options. All right. And before I give you the astrology, if you have enjoyed this reading, even as a first time person, um, or if like you've been watching for a while and you're like, wow, that is new, refreshing, it, I, it resonated, I get it, um, this was insightful and helpful, and you haven't yet done so, please subscribe below. It's a click of a button that says subscribe, it's free, and that's our agreement here, that's our energetic exchange. I come here every day, I give this to you free of charge, and you pay me back by clicking subscribe. I don't care about the likes, I don't care. Right, the extendeds and purchasing a private reading, all that is optional. By the way, I do offer private readings. Links are below, you gotta scroll a little bit. Um, but this is what we do. I, I come in here and I, I, I try to do my best to serve. And then you subscribe and then other people, right? The channel grows and other people find me that way. Okay, thanks in advance. Here we go. You have temperance as Sagittarius. The sun is um, the sun, but it rules Leo. The magician is Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. And the moon is um, Pisces. We have the knight of wands is Sagittarian energy. The knight of swords is Gemini. Death card is Scorpio. Queen of cups is Cancerian energy. Knight of Pentacles is Virgo, and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, my favorite oracle so far, clear waters, clear vision, confirmation, right timing, and opportunity. There you go. I'm headed to the extended. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.